In this video I am going to show you a few games that are coming to Kickstarters, but also a game that is actually already live on Kickstarter right now. And if you are fast, well then you might be able to take a piece of this game. Today I'm going to show you four different games and I'm going to give you a fast overview of what the games are about. We are going to start to take a look at this pretty box right here. Planet Trade here is a 3 to 5 player game where you are the CEO of a space trading company. Because we have ruined Earth resources yet again. Humans suck in that way. So now we need to put ourselves into these small small spaceships here and go up to distant planets to get the resources we need back to. Earth. And like I said, you are the CEO of this company, so your job here is to open up space trade lanes, put out your little ship and get resources on the ships back to Earth and get money. The more money you have, the stocks will go up and your company will be worth more money. You will get victory points by getting money, by getting different resources, by completing different types of secret missions, but also by building the most structures and so on. The player with the most points at the end of the game is the winner. Now, this game also comes with a lot of interaction between the players. That's right, there will be some battles here, where you can destroy the other players' ships, their space lanes, and mess up with them in a bunch of different ways. Along the way, you will need to change your strategy, so you can't just have one strategy, because there are also a bunch of global events in this game that will affect the gameplay in different ways. But also, the players can interfere with your plans, force you to sell cards from your hand to get money to protect yourself. There are so many things going on in this game. That was Planet Trade, and the next one I want to show you is Cities of Venus. Now, this is a beautifully well made game. Again, we have destroyed Earth, and now we need to populate. Venus. So we are building floating cities above the surface of Venus. Of course, it's every man and woman for themselves, so we need to compete for these resources. And we will do this by sending out our little Venouts. We will upgrade our little floating city here by actually upgrading the player boards with the cards that we get sent to us from Earth. We will get more money, we will get more resources, where we need to do our best to upgrade our city, get the most resources from Earth, and get the most victory points to actually win the game in the end. And the player with the most victory points at the end of the game is crowned to be the president of Venus. Now this is a nice, medium weight, worker placement sci-fi game where you really actually get to upgrade your board by changing the little cards putting out your different v here and also sending them to a certain death while mining the next game i want to show you is this pretty little box here with quite awesome artwork actually this is altar and this is the one that is already live on kickstarter right now the link to the kickstarter you can be found the link to the Kickstarter can be found in the description, so go in there and take a look right now. Now, this game is quite, quite cool, because you portray as one of the last gods on Earth. The other gods have, well, died and gone away, but there are still a few gods left. But now, of course, you fight to become the one and eternal mightiest god of them all, to rule planet Earth. You will grow power by using your followers, building altars in your honor, of course, but also building shires and growing your empire. And you really need to use your little followers because they are the ones that will let you build these altars. The player that managed to build the most altars or shires at the end of the game becomes the one true god that gets to rule these despicable little humans. 
During the game, you get to play cards from your hand, you get to do the action that stands on the card, you get to get new cards up on your hand, and of course these are the followers that you will use to build your empire. Last game I want to show you is Murders at Tealwood Manor. This is kind of a detective game, but well, not really, because you already know who the murderer is and you already know who the investigator is as well. But you have your own objectives, because you have these objective cards with characters on them. And it's your job to either keep them alive or trying to get them killed, depending on what your objective says. During the game you will move around in this manner and activate different room abilities. So it's really your job to try to get some people killed by helping the murderer or try to keep some people alive by helping the investigator. If you have managed, well you will score depending on how many you have managed to kill or save at the end of the game. And that was the games that I wanted to show you in this video. Now this was just a really, really fast little overview of the games. If you want a more detailed description on how to actually play these games, well, yours truly, me, have actually made how to play videos on these games. And you can find them on my channel. And if they're not already up now, they will be up really, really soon. In that case, you should absolutely subscribe to my channel not to miss the video. But there will also be links down in the description if you want to read more about the games. If you like what I'm doing here, please support the channel by subscribing to it, throw in a comment there, maybe a little thumbs up, it really means the world to me and will keep this channel alive for a millennia or a couple of more years. But most importantly, please remember to keep on spreading that board gaming love I know you all have. Peace.